In this tutorial, I will show you how to create your own custom Arduino library so you can then reuse it in your project and share it with other people. Let's get started with this code. So I have chosen a very simple example so we can focus actually on making the library instead of having a complicated code to understand first. So in this code, I have just one function add two ints, okay, which adds two ints, right? And this is the function we're gonna try to put inside an Arduino library. So then in the void setup, we just use serial and we use here the function add two ints. So instead of using the function from the function we already have in this program, we want to use the function from the library. All right, so let's get started with the first step, which is to separate the library code. So what do I mean by that? Well, actually the code of the library is in the main file. We want to create separate files that we're gonna be able to package then as an Arduino library. And to create additional files for the library, well, we have two choices. You could go on sketch and then show sketch folder and create files from there and then reboot the Arduino. Or we can also click on this icon here, okay, the down arrow and then new tab or this shortcut here and this is going to ask a name for a new file and we're going to create a header file and a C++ file for the library. So how to name it? Well, if you are doing a library from LED, for example, you're going to name it LED.h, all right? Here I'm going to go with something very general and name it my library.h, okay? So I click on OK. And now you can see I have my library.h. I have a new file. And I'm gonna create a, another file, new tab, my library.cpp. I click on OK. And now I have my library.cpp and my library.h. So make sure you have the exact same name for the both files, one with h, one with cpp. And now let's start with the header file. As a best practice, we are gonna add header guards Okay, so that when we import the library multiple times, we're only gonna import the library once actually and not duplicate the code everywhere. So if n def, and then you can put my library h. So what you can do is just put the name of your library all uppercase separated with underscore, and at the end you put h, okay? So if ndef, which means if it's not defined, we do define my library h. So the exact same thing here. And then you add and if, and all the code you're gonna write is gonna be between the define and the end if. Okay, so that's it for the header guard. And now what do we put inside this header file? Well, we're gonna put all the prototypes of the functions we want to add in the library. So here we just have one function. And what is the prototype? Well, just this. I'm just gonna copy this and put it there, add a semicolon and that's it. So basically the data type you want to return, so int, float, string, or can be void also, the name of the function with the parameters, and then you don't have any implementation, you just have a semicolon. And then what do we put inside the mylibrary.cpp? Well, we're gonna first include the header file, include with quotes like that, so mylibrary.h. So from the C++ file, we include the header file, okay? And then we can add for every prototype you have put here, we can add the definition of the function, so the implementation. And the implementation is just this one. So I'm just gonna put it here. So we have prototype in the header file and the implementation in the CBB file. So basically this is how to create a header file and a C++ file for any function in C++. That's very general in C++. And now, well, we have kind of exported this function, okay, inside this library, uh, these two li my library files. One thing also that is very important is that if you are using Arduino functionalities in your library. 
So here we are not, but let's say that we are using an Arduino functionality, for example, serial, or we could be using a function like digital write, okay, to power on an LED. The thing is that if you use digital write or serial here in the main uh, program, that's not a problem because, well, there is actually a library to import, to include, so include the library arduino.h, okay? You should actually include this, but in the main file, you don't have to because, uh, well, the Arduino IDE is going to add it for you automatically if it's not here. But why am I talking about that? Because, well, when you add another file, another header file, well, this is not going to be included by default, okay? So in the main file, yes. In any other file, no. So if you try to use an Arduino functionality in your library and you don't include this, so I'm going to just cut it and include it here after the define and before the functions if you don't include that in your library then this is not gonna work and you're gonna get an error you're gonna get a weird error like for example uh, digital write is not defined here or something like that so very important in your header file include arduino.h with angle brackets Okay, and that's it for the library. Now, how to use it? Well, now that you have different files in the same project, how to use the add to in. So if I remove it, now, of course, that's not gonna work, but I can do include, and then with quotes, my library.h. And if I compile, let's verify. Okay, down compiling. So this file has been found. So if you use a file, as you can see, if you use a file, that is directly in the same folder, okay, in the same project, you're gonna use quotes. Here we use quotes to include mylibrary.h because it's here, okay. In mylibrary.cpp, we also use quotes, as you can see. And then we use angle brackets because this library, Arduino, is not here in the same folder, it is somewhere else. So it can be in the global Arduino installation or it can be in the Arduino library folder. So you can see this is a very important point to keep in mind for the future is uh, the difference here. Angle brackets if the library is not in the same project or in the same folder. Quotes if it's in the same folder. Okay, here quotes here and quotes here. All right, now we are done with the step one. So what do we want to do next? Next, we want to, well, just remove those files and put them in the Arduino library folder so that we can directly use the library from any other program, okay? Because it's nice to have the C++ and header file here, but let's say you want to use that in another program, you would have to copy paste this file, so those files in every project you do, okay? So now we're gonna just remove them from here and put them in the right uh, directory. So what you're gonna do is go on sketch and then show sketch folder. This is going to open a file manager here I'm on Windows where you have the current project so you can see Arduino library tutorial this is the name of the project and this is the name of the main file with a .ino extension okay for Arduino file and then we have mylibrary.cpp mylibrary.h so the library is already here separated so usually you will get that in your Arduino folder which is going to be somewhere in your documents by default okay so I have this folder here. I have many other folders because I have done many other projects and tutorials. But for you, that may be completely empty. You would just have this folder right here, libraries. Okay, this you should already have by default. So your project and then libraries. If you go on libraries, you will have a readme.txt file, okay? And here I have already two libraries, but it may be empty for you. So you would just have a readme.txt and that's it. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna right click create a new folder and just name it with the name of our library. So my library is named, well, my library for the example. I just name it the same. So if your library is named LED, you are gonna name the folder LED of course. Okay, press enter. And now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna come back to my Arduino library tutorial I am gonna select those and cut them and then go to library 
and then my library and then paste uh, here. So now the two files, the cpp and the h files are in my library folders in the libraries uh, folder of your Arduino folder. And if we go back to the tutorial, we don't have the files anymore. Okay, so the files are still here. So what you need to do now is to restart the Arduino IDE. So I'm gonna close it. And then if I open it again, so I can just double click on that. Well, now we have the same code, but you can see uh, the two other files are gone, all right? And now there is one big difference is that here we were using quotes, okay? Because my library.h was in the same folder. But now that it is in the Arduino library folder, I'm gonna use angle brackets. Okay, let's compile to check if it has been found down compiling. So let's come back to our file manager. In Arduino libraries, we have my library. So this is correctly packaged. Now what we can also do, and this is usually something you find in any library on the internet or that you download, is you have some examples for a library. So let's add some examples. Right click, let's add a new folder, examples. So you have to write exactly like this. And then in examples, here you can create a new Arduino um, project that is going to use the library, okay, with of course an example. And so for this specific example here, what am I gonna do is I'm simply going to use this code here. This is already a good example. So I'm just gonna put that inside the example folder. Okay, and this code, well, this project is named Arduino Library Tutorial, but the example is actually basically how to add two ints, okay? So I'm gonna create a new folder, for example, let's name add two ints, okay? And in this folder, I'm gonna create a new text document, add two ints dot I and O. So you can change the extension here, press enter, just yes, and now you have an add to ints.ino. Well, and then you can write the code inside because that's empty. What you can also do, well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna remove it here. I'm gonna remove the add to ints. You can start from this code and just do, uh, so you write an example code and then you do file, save as, and then you go in the libraries, in my library, in example, and you're gonna save it as the name of the example you want. Add to int. Let's save it. Okay, and we have a new add to ints with add to ints.ino. That's maybe more, uh, that's maybe easier to do. And because this is an example, well, what you can do is add some comments. So for example, a multi-line comment here with slash and then asterisk and then you can just press enter and it's gonna auto complete and so here well let's put explanation of what your example does okay let's give a clear explanation of what you're trying to do in this example and then for each line or each stuff you try to do let's add some comments for example setup serial uh, communication to print results on serial monitor. And then here, what we do is get the sum of two int into another int and then print and check the result. So I just add some comments to say exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so that's gonna be easier for anyone who uses the library to get this example and understand the library, okay? So I'm gonna save again, Control S, and well, it says uh, this is read only. So if you have that, well, let's just remove, add to ints here, and let's just do a file, save as again, in libraries, my library, examples, which is now empty, save. Okay, let's click on okay, okay, and now we have add to ints with the example here. So the library is now finished, okay? It is in the libraries folder with the name, the code here, and some examples. So you can add as many examples as you want. Each example is gonna be a different Arduino project. And now is the time to go to step three, 
And what is step three? Step three is how to export and share your library. So I am going to close the Arduino IDE here. And so you go in your libraries folder. If you want to export and share your library, well, you simply need to create an archive of this. You need to create a zip file. Okay, that's usually the best thing you can choose, a zip file. So you can right click on the library folder and then, well, here I have seven zip. Maybe you have WinRAR or you have different software. If you don't have any software to create archives or to extract archives, then you need to download and install one. Okay. And now I'm going simply to add, well, to create an archive and to name it mylibrary.zip. Okay. I have mylibrary.zip and this is what I can share to the world. So if you want to send that to someone else, put it on a forum or anywhere on the internet, you need to give this library, so mylibrary.zip file, all right? This is how you export it. Now let's say you are on the other side. So you are the one receiving the library. How do you install the library? Well, the first thing you can do is get this zip file and then go back to your, well, you go to your Arduino folder, you find the libraries folder, and you just put the zip file here. So now let's say you don't have this anymore. I'm gonna remove it. You just right click and then you're gonna extract, well, let's say extract here. And then I have my library again that I can use. You can also do that if I go, uh, so if I open Arduino IDE, let's actually open a new project. So if you don't want to go to the libraries folder and you have received the mylibrary.zip, well, you just go on uh, here, sketch. You can click on include library and here add dot zip library. You click on this and then, well, you're going to browse until you find the zip file and then just click on uh, open. And this is going to automatically put the library inside the libraries folder so you can use it in your code. All right, and after the library is correctly put inside your library's folder, make sure to reboot the Arduino IDE. So here I don't need to do that because I have put that before I boot the IDE, so it's already done for me. And then, well, to test the library, you just, well, include um, my library.h. So now it's very important to use angle brackets. I'm just gonna verify the code so let's name it test library let's see if it compiles if it compiles here yes it's done compiling it means that the library has been found okay because uh, let's put two y this library doesn't exist so you will have an error like this no such file of directory if you have no such file or directory it means that well either you have a typo in the name of your library or your library is not correctly installed here so to have the library installed you have to have the folder here not just the zip but the folder with the files inside and last thing here if you want to open an example you just go on file examples so here you have all the basic examples anything you might have installed let's go down and then examples from custom libraries and oh we have my library here add to ints. I'm going to open it. This is going to open a new project. And what is this? This is the exact example we have written in the example folder of the library. All right. And that's how you create an Arduino library. Now, if you want to go further, what you can do is maybe add a license file. So you can choose what kind of license you want to uh, put to your library, maybe host the code on GitHub so that other people can help you and maybe find issues and bugs on your library. And then maybe add more documentation, more examples so that it's easier for other people to use the library. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.